Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey G297 and welcome to the video. Today's episode will be using the Audi R8 around Tokyo Expressway 600. I've used this car back in the past in update 1.26 which has been a, quite a long time ago so I thought why not just get a more refreshed uh, video up and going uh, for 1.32. So to get the car it'll of course be under Brand Central, click on Europe and it'll be all the way to the top right uh, column under the Germany uh, country and it'll be your third car on the list just 166,000 credits uh, so not too expensive but just a little bit of a hefty price uh, of a bit over 550 base points uh, for the setup we'll be using sport hards as our tire choice uh, suspension I have it as normal uh, the differential is two-way LSD. Uh, for downforce, I have it set to 128 for the rear. Uh, ECU set to 100. Uh, power restrictor set to 100. Uh, you'll be using the manual transmission, the custom customized manual transmission set to 320. Racing air filter, racing exhaust manifold, racing brakes and brake pads and anything you see here installed which is not a whole lot of stuff but uh, that's what else I'll be using for the car uh, for this particular setup. I'll also be showing you guys the pictures of the setup. It's pretty simple um, setup nothing too crazy or very uh, technical. So here's some screenshots of what you need for your custom parts. You will do need the rear wing. Uh, optional is side A for the side and for my rim choice I have the LM BBS uh, everything set to wide and have it 18 inch rims uh, so lap 2 making our move to P2 passing the RX-7 very smooth solid car I'll show you guys a quick uh, tutorial lap of what to expect from the car and uh, later down the lap right before the right hander we were able to overtake and pass the NSX for the lead uh, for this being a four-wheel drive car, this car really has really good handling, good control, especially this very right, uh, tight right hand turn. Um, the AI had to brake right there, so we're going to take the lead and basically run away from it. So the lap you're going to pit will be fuel lap seven. Uh, the only thing you'll be doing in this pit cycle will be only fueling up your fuel. Uh, don't need to change tires because you can see on the screen here that they are in excellent condition. Um, all you're going to do is just fill up your fuel just a little bit past the little icon. You don't have to fill it all the way up. Uh, it'll help save you some time from being in the pits and will also help your total time as well. So that's it for the pit cycle. And now I'm going to quickly show you guys a hot lap for the car. So basically this is a six speed uh, car. Uh, you'll be hitting right at the 200 mile per hour zone uh, right before you brake. 199, 200, something. So that's really good straight line speed. You're going to brake right before you hit the 200 marker. Uh, go third gear and you'll just be partially throttle and then you'll eventually get the full power once you get that this little straightaway. Uh, you'll be mainly in third gear for this first right hand turn and then you'll be going to fourth gear and through this part uh, when you make it through the city district uh, you'll be mainly in fourth gear and you can just see how smooth and how grippy the car really is. Um, the handling is just really good. Uh, no signs of understeer. Um, feels a little tight, a little bit from the front uh, since it's a stock low downforce package but other than that uh, the car just has a really good flow uh, as you can see just so smooth uh, no signs of it being loose or really uh, being upset or anything like that it's just very smooth steady uh, solid setup like I said you'll be in fourth gear this whole section uh, that's why I do recommend you could go third, but I think fourth has a much better flow uh, through those turns. And you'll hit fifth gear 
uh, right before you break, uh, right before I hit the 150 sign, and then you'll be all the way down to the second gear, and then through this turn, you just melee at the car, roll through the center of the corner, and then once you make it to that level straight away, you'll then get back to full power, and then you'll be back on your way uh, to finish up the lap. And that's basically how Laptop Tokyo. It's a very smooth, solid car that requires a little bit of braking, but mainly partial throttle or uh, natural rolling of the corner. And that's going to be it. Uh, this run was a 26 minute and 26 second run. So, very quick overall. Like I said, very smooth uh, feel. Mainly average, you're going to average just to high 207s, low 208s um, with this car if you're not having any assist. Now, if you do have assists like traction control and all that stuff, it might be different. But other than that, this car just has a really smooth feel. So, total time is 26 minutes, 26 seconds. Um, we did have a little net contact with the Honda, which I was kind of a little bit afraid about that it was going to mess up our clean response, but you see here, uh, we did get it, even though we had that little nudge contact with the Honda uh, when we took the lead there. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys are interested, here's my Grand Chimizzle 7 profile if you guys want to check it out. Anyway, that's going to do it for the episode. Hope this episode was a big help to you guys on your Tokyo grinds. If you guys want to check out my latest episode in Sedina, here it is on the screen right now using the Nissan R92CP. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.